kill three guards with a single grenade, put ten guards to sleep. If I mess with this, maybe I can break the whole system. Take down snipers first. He would be there. Good job, dude. You did it. Okay, now to find three guys that line up perfectly with each other. Look at this place. Tell me what you see. Come off. Two, right there. Oh wait, there, there, there it is. Is that three guys? Oh my god, it was three. Go back, go back. Not your chum. There it is. Stop. Stop. Oh, you're just out of range. Come back. Come on, dude. Okay, go back over there to those other guys then. No. No. There's my shot. That's it, boys. Boom. Done. Let's work on the sleep thing that he would like me to do. Well, guys, I I'm pretty sure they don't have to be inside the, uh, the marker. Let's see. Test the theory. Yeah. Let's we'll just go around. Why are you sleeping? Goss. You there. Come over here. No. Need more grenades. Could just go back to the one where those guys went to sleep before. Yeah. 
Yeah, get him up. Wake him up. Put him back to sleep again. Yeah. Oh my god, you missed. Throwing grenades. Need more. Is he climbing up? Yeah. I don't know why they got rid of some of these missions. Or these like optional things. You, you there! Come over here. Oh thanks. Oh gas mask, gas mask, gas mask, gas mask. One more time. There, finally. This is dangerous. Lost, blow it up. Gas mask. Let's get dangerous. Down the alley with a locked door. Are you crazy? Much longer than I wanted to to just make those guys fall asleep. Done. I must get out, or I'm as good as dead. Time to make my Brexit. No way he will pass. You think that, don't you? Get out of the blast zone. Marvelous destruction, Captain. I saw the smoke all the way from the Morrigan. That should discourage those miscreants. New York is safe for now. With all due respect, Colonel, it's going to take more than a few explosions to get rid of this kind of trouble. The boy is right, Colonel Monroe. Shay, was it? Congratulations. You just burned the whole lot of rats out of New York. I'm Jack Weeks. This is William Johnson. I don't know about him, but I'm pleased to meet you. 
Nice to meet you as well. It is uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shay can recount his adventures to us over a pint. Hey, the first round's on uh, the Colonel. Huh? <laughs> Something the matter, Master Cormac? Just a little confused. I uh, must have breathed some of that gas. Some ale will do you good. Come, we are all friends here. You will be taken care of. Ching, 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 ching. Fast forward. for your thoughts. Master Cormac, my apologies for the brevity of this missive, but it is time we were honest with one another. You have demonstrated your loyalty and resourcefulness to the Templar cause, and this despite and perhaps because of your assassin origins. The manuscript the assassin sought has been in my possession for some time. I reclaimed it when my men found you marooned. The Grand Master himself charged me to discover its meaning, a task I regret I have failed to complete. I leave it in your charge, Master Cormac. There is no one else I trust more. Now I leave for Fort William Henry, an ill-prepared garrison surrounded by hostile natives and the French army. We have requested reinforcements, but I doubt they will be forthcoming. I have no illusions that our resistance will be successful. I commit my life to the British Army and my soul to the Father of Understanding. Yours, Colonel George Monroe. It was his death note. Oh yeah, I got some outfits here. All oh, these look awful. The Dark Assassin. The Assassin Killer. Or we do Edward and Bayek. Just throw Bayek in there, why not? Yeah, the Assassin Killer. Feel dirty saying it, but it looks so cool. Swords. Yeah, I might have to do that. We gotta go rescue Colonel Monroe. I do like the, uh... Oh, I don't like how it covers his face all the time. Captain, there's the helm! Unfurled, mate! Find your post, guest. The Colonel's in trouble. How do you mean, in trouble? He's at Fort William Henry, facing impossible odds. Get off your lazy asses, lads! And man your stations! We raise anchor! Sorry for the early libation, Captain. But do you realize that it's been a whole year since we met? <laughs> a whole year! Changed my life, and for the better. <laughs> You will uh, forgive me if I have been. Uh, yeah, mortars. Without you. 
Ready to fire, sir! Fire! They're too close, sir! Right! Ready, Captain! Fire! Weakest fire! We're in the fight. Captain! Fire! Captain! Fire! Some, uh... Get the main screen! Uh, uh, brand me. We need constant full of materials. I have a question. How long have you known the crime? Former elite. You mean the assassin? I knew that ages ago, kid. I may be drunk. But I'm not blind. Or did you think I would assume you had escaped from some homicidal thing? Why didn't you say anything? The colonel wanted us to avoid the from a pure selfless instinct and helped countless others besides. If it were up to me, I would have made you an official Templar months ago. Take Who is it up to then? Monroe mentioned a Grand Master. Oh yes, the Grand Master of a colonial right. You'd like him, Shay. His father was an assassin. Really? He must have a story to tell. What is the news from Fort William Henry? The garrison is surrounded, and reinforcements are late. General Montcalm has been blazing a path across the colonies for King Louis, hasn't he? I rather wish he'd stayed home with his mistress. His or King Louis's? Either. Though I suspect the king's is finer. Indeed. Madame O'Murphy is supposed to be quite the charmer. I know Murphy is in the French king's bed. Now I know you're pulling my leg. They're talking about the Kenways, the Grand Master. Connor's poppy. Oh, poor old Stormy's dead and gone. Stormy long boy, Stormy long boy. Oh, poor old Stormy's dead and gone. Aha! Come along, get along. Sing me a song, boys. Oh, I definitely could have just. Loose and catch the wind. Once again. Ah. 